Hello and welcome to Quick Tips. In this video, I'll show you how to create a backup of your WordPress website on a Google Drive. You can also save the backup files on your computer as well as on your hosting server. I'll also show you how to use these backup files to restore your website or you can also migrate your website to another hosting server or another domain and we'll be using a completely free WordPress plugin to do this. So let me show you. So this is the website I'm going to create a backup of. So let me log into my website. Now go to plugins and go to add new. Now search for the plugin updraft plus. All right, so this is the backup plugin. Click on install now. Activate it. All right, you will see the icon here also, or you can go down here and go to settings. This is a free version of the plugin. Now go to settings here. Okay, now the files backup schedule is manual and database backup schedule is also on manual. Now you want to save it on the Google Drive. So save it on Google Drive. Select Google Drive here. Now it will create a folder called as Updraft Plus. Okay, so it will automatically create a folder on your Google Drive and save all the backup files into this folder. Now if you want to change this folder name or if you want to create another folder inside this folder, then you will need to buy a premium plugin premium add-on on this plugin but I don't think you need this you can manually create folder and move the files there I'll show you how to do that also so in case if you have many websites for the backup then you can create folders inside Google Drive and move the files one by one there all right so this is the list of files which are included in the backup okay so these are the files which are excluded so I'll delete this MySQL I'll need the mysql backup also so just click on the x sign and so that will it will not exclude the the mysql files from the backup okay so this is the folder name now go down click on save changes okay now it needs a permission of google drive to create a folder and save the files so you will need to allow the plugin to access your google drive so click on this now it will ask you to sign into your Google account where you want to save. So I'll log into one of my Google accounts and click on allow. Okay, now click on complete setup. All right, so we have given the permission to updraft plugin to access the Google Drive to save the files. So we will create a first backup now. Click on backup now. Click here. Now it is creating a backup of your WordPress website. It may take few minutes. All right, so it has created the backup. Click close on it. Now you can see that the backup files are here. And uh, if you want to restore in case in future, if there is something wrong happens to your website and if you want to restore the backup, you can simply click on this restore and it will restore the backup to your website. And if you don't want to use the space of your hosting server, then you can delete the backup from here or you can one by one download these backups to your computer also. All right. Now let me show you uh, where it is saved on your Google Drive. So let me log into my Google account. I'm already logged in. So go to Google Drive. And now here you will see one of the folder is created updraft plus open it and you will see all the backup files here now if you want to create backup of uh, many website then you can create one more folder inside this one right click on it and create new folder name it as your website so that you will understand which uh, folder it is okay so one folder is created now you can simply move it here one by one All right, so what we have done we, under updraft plus folder, we have created param freelance, the name of your website folder, and we have moved all the files inside that particular folder of that particular website. Now, if you want to create a backup of another website, you can use the same free plugin and all the backup files will show here 
after that you can create one more folder of that particular website and move the files into that particular folder so this is how you can do it manually and you don't need to buy a premium version of this uh, plugin let me delete this backup from the hosting server so that it will not uh, uh, use the space of the hosting server all right so uncheck this also did it from remote storage so it will not delete from the google drive and click delete all right so the backup files are gone from your hosting server okay so this is how you can use this plugin to create a backup of your website now let me show you how to restore the complete website on a different domain or any other hosting server that you want to move on to so let me show you how to do it on one of the local WordPress the procedure will be same for all the other domains if you want to move the file to another domain you can use the same this is one of the local WordPress website. It has nothing here. It is completely blank website. Let me log into this blank WordPress website. Now you will see there are no pages, no themes, no plugins, no media. All right. So what I'll do, I'll install the same plugin here. Go to plugins, go to add new and search for the same plugin up draft plus. All right. So install the same plugin here. activated all right so the plugin is activated now go back to your google drive account uh, here we have the folder which contains all the backup files so right click on this folder and download this folder the entire folder so we are downloading the folder that contains all the backup files all right the file has been downloaded the zip file that contains all the backup files has been downloaded on my computer and you can see it here so let me unzip this file all right so all the files are unzipped okay so these are the backup files now let's go let's go back to the website and go to settings nav here you will see upload backup files click on it now here is an option to select the files that we have downloaded the backup files all right so select all the files and move drag it and drop it here so one by one it is uploading the files all right so the files have been uploaded now click on restore button here select all these options click next and click restore it is going through the restore process All right you need to use the new login credentials of the website of the actual website so let me get the login credentials of the main website so let me log in with the same username and password that I have used for the backup. Alright, so it says that the restore is successful. Return. Now let's say this is the blank website. Now let me refresh it. Alright, so you can see that the entire website has been migrated to the new local WordPress. That is that that was the blank WordPress website. And you can see the complete website is, has been migrated to this blank website. So this is how you can restore your website or you can migrate the website using completely free plugin. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.